Everyone here has slept, but only a small percentage of us have unlocked our true potential through sleeping. Sleeping is one of the most important things that you do every day, and most people don't give sleep or the power of dreams a second thought. Dreams are responsible for the ideas behind it, many ideas that influence the world, the theory of relativity, analytical geometry, and a myriad of books and movies, even this TED Talk. Dreams have a huge impact on our lives and ideas, but they don't come from anywhere. Smaller aspects of our lives, from hobbies to what we eat, can affect you and your dreams more than it may seem. Buying a certain product or model might seem insignificant, but can actually influence the very ideas that we think of. Take the mattress you sleep on, for example. You sleep on it every day. Buying a cheaper mattress might sound like the best course of action in the short term. A slightly larger investment could yield an infinitely better return. It's like how buying an expensive computer is essential to a programmer, or how a photographer invests in a better camera. If you can see the face stability of these examples, you can understand how creative thinking can only be fostered in the correct conditions. Innovative ideas don't come from anywhere, and most people don't realize the importance that something as simple as a mattress can have on your mind. Spending more on a mattress now is more of an investment in your future than it may seem. When you don't sleep, you don't dream of ideas. And if people can't dream, they can't innovate. Innovative ideas have always come from dreams. In some cases, an actual dream. I mean, Dmitry Mendeleev created, a, created the periodic table after seeing it in a dream. And Elias Howe invented the sewing machine after having a nightmare. Some of the world's most crucial inventions or ideas in many different fields could not have happened without dreaming. Unfortunately, you can't dream on a mattress. I won't let you. A common tribe of mattress, the inner spring mattress, has been around since 1870. If you wouldn't use a horse and a buggy to get around, why would you trust a mattress that's from the 1870s? With something as important as your sleep, while the inner spring mattress is the most common, it is among the lowest in commuter c consumer satisfaction. Sleeping is way more than something that you just do every day. It helps with your memory, your overall health, and is a time when your body can repair itself. But most importantly, good sleep, specifically REM sleep, can give you vivid and frequent dreams. Rapid eye movement, or REM sleep, is when most of your dreams occur. Without REM sleep, many of the world's greatest ideas wouldn't have even been thought of. Researchers have found that this is because REM is more conductive to dynamic and flexible thought, problem solving, and fluid reasoning. Not only does a good mattress encourage good sleep, but it also decreases anxiety and stress while clearing your mind and cleansing your body. REM sleep can also lead to lucid dreaming, which is when somebody is aware that they are dreaming and can change their environment. In some cases, you can go or do anything that you want or couldn't do in real life. For example, someone could fly, run really fast, or swim to the depths of the ocean. This type of dreaming allows creative minds to think of new ideas and plans. Studies have shown that the better you sleep, the more chance of lucid dreaming you have. If you have an older mattress that isn't comfortable for you. You can't sleep well, and as a result, you won't be able to enjoy the creative benefits that come with dreaming, especially dreaming as a result of REM sleep and lucid dreaming. Looking at this from a larger sense, mattresses are just one of those things in our lives whose benefits are undervalued. We're not asking you to spend all your money on better things, but take a step back, assess your life, and think about what is holding you back from innovating. Creativity is subjective, but it does require the right environment. A painter can't paint without the correct brush, so they might try to experiment w on which tools work for them best. You might have to decide what works best to st stimulate creativity in your own mind. That doesn't mean indulging yourself by buying the most expensive things, but you have to analyze the smaller parts of your life that maybe don't seem like they matter and fix problems, if there are any, to foster your creativity. Mattresses were just an example of something that ev almost everybody uses, yet don't give that much thought about. A mattress, something you barely think about, can have a tremendous power over you, your energy, or even how creative you are. Almost everyone can become more innovative than before with a small but smart investment into the present for an even bigger return in the future. So the next time you're out shopping for your next mattress, think about how you could just be the next big idea.